Hey guys, more Logic tips, uh, and in this one I'm going to show you how to make the project tempo of Logic fit a drum loop. Now a lot of you will know this tip, but I'm building this tip list to include all useful tips for beginners, so we're going to do it, right? We're going to make the project tempo fit a drum loop, all right? But this could be any loop, all right? So here we've got Logic, the project tempo is the usual default tempo, 120, there's our piece of audio. It's a piece, this is a piece of drumming. Right, so we're gonna find a one bar loop in this drumming, and to do that, I'm gonna use the marquee tool tip. It's in the tip list. Marquee tool, click on the audio. I'm gonna use the left arrow to back up to this transient here. That's the first kick drum. Right, and then that's the beginning of my loop on that transient there. So shift and right arrow to extend the marquee range out and that's the kick drum on the beginning of the next bar. So that's the end of my loop. I've got the marquee range around one bar of drumming and now I'll put a cycle range around it. Command U and let's hear it. Okay, so there's my loop. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Right, now I want to get rid of what's in front and behind of this selection, right? So Command Backslash, boom. And we've isolated that section of audio which is a perfect loop, right? Okay. Now, we have this one bar audio loop, right? But the project tempo doesn't fit the loop, all right? If I set my snap here to bar and to snap regions to absolute value, I can now move this loop so its starting edge begins exactly on a bar marker, like that bar there, bar three. Then if I put a cycle range around that one bar, we've got a one bar loop beginning on bar three, the cycle range is one bar, the loop doesn't fit the, the one bar cycle range. It's a one bar loop, but it doesn't fit a one bar cycle range because this loop is slower than the project tempo. So what we want to do is get the project tempo to be adjusted so this one bar cycle range perfectly fits this one bar loop, right? This is what we do. You need to have your Logic Pro X preferences, go into preferences, advanced, you should be in advanced mode, so Logic is in advanced mode, and you need to tick advanced audio. This needs to be ticked, right? Okay. So. We double click on our piece of audio, it opens in the editor here, and now we've ticked advanced audio. We have the track edit, which is region edit. We also have file edit. Switch to file edit, and there is the selection already pre-highlighted. Right? Now we go to functions, adjust tempo by selection, which is the loop, and locators, and our locators is set to a one bar cycle range. Right, so we're going to adjust the project tempo so the selection, a one bar loop, fits a one bar locator range. Right. Do it. Boom. Do it globally. Boom. And the project tempo adjusts to 98 beats per minute look. And now this one bar loop perfectly fits a one bar cycle range. The tempo of this loop is 98 beats per minute. And it fits. Okay, now let's just command set and undo all that. What if it's a two bar loop? Okay, let's make it a two bar loop then, right? I've got my cycle range there, uh, my marquee range covering one bar of drumming. So, um, choose the marquee tool again, and I'm going to extend this end of the marquee range out further. Shift and right arrow. Let's extend it out. So we've got two bars of drumming, right? There's two bars of drumming in the marquee range now. Command U to cycle around it. Let's hear it. Yeah. So we've got a perfect two bar loop now. Okay, again, we'll trim off what's in front and behind that selection. Command backslash, and we have our two bar drum loop isolated. Right? But again, the project tempo is 120. This loop will not fit, but it's a two bar loop now. Our snap is set to bar and snap to absolute value. So now I will move this two bar loop so it begins on a bar marker there, bar three. Put a cycle range around. Come on. All right. So there's a two bar cycle range 
and it's a two bar loop. But again, the loop is a different tempo to the project tempo, so our two bar loop does not fit this two bar cycle range. Yeah? It's uh, the wrong tempo. The project tempo is wrong. So with a two bar loop, it's the same, but you just, if it's a two bar loop, you have a two bar cycle range. If it's a one bar loop, you have a one bar cycle range. If it's a four bar loop, you have a four bar cycle range, right? This time it's a two bar loop with a two bar cycle range. Double click, open it in the editor. It's already pre-highlighted. Go to file, function, adjust tempo by selection locators. Boom, globally, boom, it's done. Now, a two bar loop fits a two bar cycle range, yeah? Yeah? That's how you do it. Okay? Just remember if it's, if it's a one bar loop, you set a one bar cycle range and do what I showed. If it's a two bar loop, you set a two bar cycle range. If it's a four bar loop, you set a four bar cycle range, etc. Alright? Okay, I hope that's useful. See you for the next one.